Hello viewers, welcome to my channel on Cat Africa Live. Mali has passed a new mining code allowing the state to take up to 30% stakes in new mineral projects and collect more revenues from the vital industry. Junta Lidi Asimi Goita has signed the code into law on last week Monday and his office announced on social media on Tuesday. Mali is one of the Africa's leading gold producers and their mining sector is dominated by foreign companies including the Canadian's Barry Gold and B2 Gold, Australia's Resolute Mining and the British Hummingbird Resources. They have continued to operate despite political instability and an expanding jihadist insurgency. Mali's junta which seized power in 2020 has made sovereignty a key priority. Maybe most of you don't understand how this move is important to the African continent. Actually, in Ghana, the Takwa Mines, which is held by Goldfields Ghana, currently owns 90% share and the government of Ghana hold only 10%. Let's watch this video. I'll be back. Our economy has very little local ownership. So if you take the mines, uh, uh, if you take the mines, there's no, Ghana government has, by law, has 10% interest in all the mines. But beyond the Ghana government, there is no Ghanaian who has 2% of any of the mines in Ghana. No Ghanaian. No Ghanaian. No Ghanaian. In fact, Obuasi, which is, uh, sorry, Ashanti Gold, Anglo Gold Ashanti, okay, we, we meshed, as you know. The Ghana government had 55%. At some stage, they sold their interest from 55% to 25% in 1994. And the Ghana government sold and took $400 million out. So the Ghana government became a 25% and not a 55% shareholder. Okay. Now, and later on we meshed and became Anglo Godashanti. The Ghana government currently, as we speak, hasn't got 1%. It has zero equity interest in Anglo Godashanti. Ghana government had 10% in the mines, like Obuasi, Duaprimna. But as the company that meshed, the Ghana government, Ghana has 0% of Anglo Gold Ashanti, which is a shame. How did that happen? We sold. Ghana government sold. It was, they had a credit, they had a paper. When we listed in New York, we were the first African company to list on, list on the New York, New York Stock Exchange after listing in London. So they had the paper. Once you have the paper, you can trade it anytime you like. <laughs> so sometimes you'll be sitting and you'll, hearing, you'll be hearing uh, Ghana is the leading good producer in Africa. Ghana is the leading good producer of here. And you realize Ghana don't even own zero. They don't even own 1% out of this whole mineral resources which is being produced. We don't own anything. Ghana don't own anything. And it's very sad. That's why most of the times we ask, how come Ghana or other African countries have uh, gold? They have cocoa. They have diamond. They have all sorts of minerals, uranium, lithium bauxite, magnesium, they have all these minerals, but you ask yourself, how are we still struggling? How are we still struggling? And you'll be, you, you won't be getting the right answer. People will be telling you all sorts of, it's a whole lot. And at the end of the day, you realize even the natural resources we have we don't have percentage out of it. So foreigners come, put their machines, sort some of the leaders, especially the puppets out, and they just take the resources. That is why Niger, when Niger is telling the France ambassador to leave, or asking France military to leave, have you seen how it's becoming problem there because they benefit from the natural resources in Niger. 
So how are they going to live? They have to put up a fight. Now, the only thing restricting France not to attack Niger and reinstate the, 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 the leader they hosted is that it's going to go against them. So they are waiting for ECOWAS to attack Niger so that the France will pack back door to support the ECOWAS. That is what is happening in Niger. So most of the times, all our resources are owned by Western countries. And this is a perfect example. And this man is called Sam Jonah, who was, I think, president of the uh, Anglo Gold Ashanti or Goldfields. So he knows what he's talking about. At the moment, Ghana don't own anything in the emerged companies that form this Ashanti Gold. It, and it's it, it mind-boggling. So we will be sitting around, be asking ourselves, why all these resources, but we are still poor? Because of some leaders' uh, contract they have signed with these foreign companies. So they end up, the country end up losing more money than to gain money to support their economy. That is what is happening in Africa. So sometimes when all this coup d'etat is happening, people will be saying, and we have people who are supporting it, and we have people who are... The leader, the Mali leader, who is taking all this bold decision, came to power, uh, came to power by coup. You, realize, you, you know, we know uh, some, some years back, there was, uh, there was coup which did not benefit the continent. But it seems these, these days, those who are taking this action are rather putting uh, policies in place which are benefiting the country or which are benefiting the citizens. So most of the times, that's why a lot of Africans are jubilating because we can't be sitting in our own country and our resources, our natural resources, will be taken over by foreign countries and we end up get, gaining nothing and we go back and beg them for aid, beg them for money. This is not right. This is not right. So it's the, if we are talking of how the millions are renegotiating to gain 30% out of these minerals, it's encouraging and it, 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 they deserve applause because it is going to benefit the country and its citizens and it's going to help them to put up infrastructures that is going to benefit the country. That is what every African wants. We don't want to be having all these resources and at the end of the day, we are going to own nothing out of these resources. Please, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button so that anytime I upload any great content, you will be notified. Thanks for watching.